Hello everyone, this is Kangar. I make videos about Skyrim VR mods, Skyrim VR gameplay and the occasional other VR game. And today I am going to show you how to install the Skyrim script extender SKSE VR plus SkyUI VR and the VR IK player avatar mod. So, but first of all, what are these mods anyways? SKSE is actually not a mod, it's a script extender. So it's a little bit of an extra that you need for other mods to work. So it gives these mods a largely increased functionality and it's very powerful and it's essential to many of the VR specific mods. Then we have SkyUI. SkyUI is, as the name suggests, a user interface extension for Skyrim and is necessary for uh, using the mod configuration menu which is for example very important for VRIK. VRIK is a mod that gives you a body in Skyrim VR. That means you have inverse kinematics for your arm, it means you have finger animations and the rest of your body is animated in the regular Skyrim VR animation system. In addition to that, it has weapon holsters that you can physically use to store and unholster your weapons. And in addition to that, it even has a magic cast system with gestures. So you can move your arms, move your hands and cast a spell with that. Okay, so there are two ways now to install SKSE. First of all, the manual way, as you can see in our guides in the Skyrim VR subreddit. But now there is also a new way of just using it automatically in Vortex. I will first show you the manual way now so that uh, in case you're using Mod Organizer 2, you can still do it. And then I will show the Vortex way. All right, so in this guide, you have everything you need. Here's the link to SKSE that brings you here. Be sure to download the VR build, as you can see here and then just download the 7-zip archive and open it, extract it. And in that you find these five files. They go into your game folder. Just copy them into there. Then you go back and select the data folder and zip that one again. I recommend renaming it just to be sure what you have there. And now this one just goes into your mod organizer or into Vortex if you want to use the manual version for Vortex. Just install it there, drop it into the download folder or in Vortex you can literally just drag and drop it here. Then you just need to install it and deploy again. Don't forget the deploy step. But if you're using Vortex, there is a much easier way now to install SKSE. And that is if you're in the latest version, which you can see here, 1.2.15 at the moment, and uh, you go to your mod section or you, you check the bell up there, you see that it's telling you that SKSE VR is not installed. And in this case, you just follow along what it's telling you. Click on more, open in Vortex, continue. And in that case, again, be sure to download the VR build here. Click on the archive and it now downloads it in the background. You can see it here and it automatically installs it and you need to enable it, deploy it. And that's it. Super easy. You cannot make anything wrong unless you would download the SE version. But if you make sure that you get the Skyrim VR version of SKSE, this is absolutely fail safe. Okay, so to start the game with SKSE now, you can either go to your game folder and use that sksevrloader.exe. You can make a shortcut to your desktop, um, that works. Or you go to your dashboard and use this added tool and just run from there. In fact, if you're done with modding, if, you're, uh, if your mod setup is complete, you don't need Vortex to start the game at all. This is different in MO2. If you're using MO2, I cannot show to you how it works. So in that case, be sure to really read the guide very carefully 
Um, yeah, and for Vortex, as soon as you are at this step and you got your mod set up, you can close Vortex and never look into it again. Just use that SKS EVR loader exe to start the game. So the next step is to install Sky UI VR, which is also very easy, especially with Vortex. Just check the GitHub here, download the zip file there. It's also very fast. You're here in the downloads folder, open Vortex and drag and drop it here. You really cannot make that wrong. Just install it, enable it, deploy it, and that's it. If you now boot up the game, you should, um, using the SKS loader, you should see a very different user interface. And uh, if you type into the console, get SKS version, you should also see the current SKS version that you have installed. All right, so now that you have SKSE and SkyUI installed, you can install VRIK. For this, you go to the post section at this point in time and download the latest build 25 of the developer version. This fixes a few bugs and it has a few additional functionalities that you probably want to have. And um, probably in the future, this will be a stable build, of course. But for now, you need to do this. Okay, so you download that as regular, you get a download zip file, you put that into your, uh, into your Vortex mod section and you install it, deploy it as always. Something in addition that you want to do probably is to use the controller bindings. If you're on Rift or Windows Mixed Reality, you can just download them as they are right here. And if you're on the index, you have to absolutely make sure that you're also using the latest relevant Steam VR community bindings, as it's written here. So that was it. Very easy, very fast. These things will upgrade your game a lot, and I heavily recommend you check them out. If you're done installing VRIK, you can also check out my VRIK setup guide video. It's linked in the description. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I have also a lot of other mod videos that you might want to check out and some gameplay videos that could be interesting as well. And yeah, that was it for today. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.